Hi, my name is Hannah Hudson. I am the principal at Cornerstone Prep Leicester, which is a elementary school in Binghampton, and I've been there four years. Hannah, will you describe the makeup, the de demographics of Cornerstone Prep? Mm -hmm. So we um, have about 400 students from pre-K through fifth grade. Those are the grades that we serve. About 10% of our population is ESL, mostly Western African refugees that have been settled in Binghampton. Our school is a neighborhood charter school in Binghampton, which means students that live around us are zoned for our school, but we also can accept students from outside of that zone. Being a charter school, though, also means that we are managed not by the local school district, but by a local charter management organization, which is called Capstone Education Group. And uh, we're part of the Achievement School District, which means that our school is in turnaround but it is um, which is the turnaround district for the state but it is locally managed by um, a charter organization um, we have about 95 percent black students five percent Latino students um, the majority of whom are qualified for free reduced lunch um, that's about it achievement what are some things specifically from last year that you can say like we're proud of this thing that happened during the 2019-2020 school year? Yeah. Um, so some of the things we're proud of from this school year, um, we had some amazing reading growth from our students and so we have been really pushing independent reading and students developing themselves to having a reading life and seeing themselves as readers and so we had a lot of excellent reading growth throughout this year thanks to our um, amazing teachers that we have that have gotten just really good at what they do. This is our first year to have an elementary basketball team, which was really fun because it was third, fourth, and fifth graders, and um, for them to be able to participate in that was really exciting. Um, we always have a black history program, but this was our first year of doing um, a door decorating contest with it, and so it was really fun to see that creatively be um, all over our school and all kinds of different designs and themes, and so it was really um, exciting to show that off. Um, see what else from this year it got cut short and so like a lot of school leaders we're sad for all the things in quarter four that didn't get to happen but uh, we're excited to continue the momentum that we had from this year and this fall in August all right last question for me um, what actually I've got two more what are your hopes and dreams for the upcoming school year other than being able to finish it <laughs> <laughs> um, Like just general hopes and dreams for our school, I would say um, we want Cornerstone to be the really great school that the neighborhood deserves. So um, usually a great school is an asset to the neighborhood around it and they all want to send their kids there and they have a lot of ownership over the school and how it's run. Um, and that's one thing I do love about our school is that because we are a neighborhood charter school, that we have families that have been part of that school community for um, generations and so they have a lot of investment in our success as a school and that's really vital to who we are. Um, but I also hope that next year um, that we are able to just continue our momentum, that uh, we have a, most of our teachers coming back, which is great because then the, um, their work can continue with students and families. Um, for any new teachers that we have, we're excited for them to come on board and for all the great work that they will do. But we hope to continue some of the great reading growth that we had and just um, having that show up for all of our students from kindergarten through fifth grade as great readers. You mentioned having some new teachers come on board. Um, in addition to those new teachers who are coming on as staff, you're going to have a number of MTR residents. You know that this is geared towards those residents. And so if there were one thing that you would want a resident to know, so I want you to finish the sentence for me. I would like an MTR resident coming to Cornerstone Lester to think, expect, or know. Yeah. Um, so one thing that can be really hard in working with turnaround schools is um, that you are climbing out of a hole of um, achievement and, and so trying to close students' gaps. And so one thing that I would really want an incoming resident or teacher at our school to know is that students are defined by their gaps and that it's really important that we see them with an asset-based mindset rather than a deficit-based mindset. Um, in the work of turnaround, there's a lot of challenges and it's easy to just see those. And um, it's important that we see our students and their families by all that they bring to our school community rather than just 
um, all the gaps there are to close. And so that's something I would want somebody coming in to have eyes to look for. What are the all the amazing things that are being brought to the school that are the ingredients that we have to work with to build something really unique and special. Great. Thank you, Ms. Hudson. Thank you.